Four and a half years ago, my parents and I moved to the Netherlands. And besides our friends, relatives, and a family, there was one other important thing that we were missing. That was our own health records. Especially for the case of my mom, who, among other things, suffers from asthma, this was way more crucial. As while she was waiting to get diagnosed of her asthma again in this new country, she had suffered from three times of asthma attacks. And every time I would see her cough and cough and cough. Her lungs out until she could barely breathe anymore. This was unacceptable to me. As a computer science student, as a tech enthusiast living in the information age, in the era of technology and internet, we not having a solution to such a problem was more than unacceptable. So I had to find a solution to this. I started on a pursuit of finding out if it is possible to have a solution. The first thing I found out was, in some countries, such as Netherlands or the US, there is a system called EHR, or Electronic Health Records, where it is a digital platform where your data, health data, is stored there, and it is accessible by different health organizations and health providers in that country. However, such a system suffers from two major issues. First of all, such databases, EHRs, are only nation-based. That means all your data is only accessible within the borders of that country. So as soon as you step out of the borders, your data is still not with you. Second major issue is that all the current EHR systems all around the world, they are built on an, such an old software infrastructure. That means they are easily susceptible to being hacked. As a matter of fact, this is happening every single day. In 2018 alone, in the United States, 229 health organizations' databases suffered from such cyber attacks, out of which were 6.1 million people's important health data was leaked to the public. This is something we cannot continue having today. Cases like my mom, and us, we're not the only people. This is not an isolated case. There are more than 250 million people who are living outside their origin country right now. Immigrants, expats. And there are more than 8 million people traveling across borders of countries every single day. And all these people, if they ever fall into an accident or they need an immediate access to their own health information, they don't have it. So I was wondering, a globally accessible health platform, is it ever legislation-wise, policy-wise possible? Well, I actually found out European Union Health Commission has come up with three priorities for the health of the citizens. Can you guess what was the top priority? It was citizens' secure access to their own health data. That was exactly what I dreamt of. You could imagine I was more than happy. This was a starting point. However, the last piece of puzzle is such a secure database, secure access of data, ever technologically, wise speaking, possible. The good news is, it is, it is possible now, today, with a new technology called blockchain. Blockchain was not around more than a decade ago. It's something very new. We're just finding out 
the possibilities and capabilities of such new technology. But we here at Delft University of Technology have been working as pioneers on blockchain for more than a decade. What's special about blockchain? Well, let me tell you, it is the most secure way of storing data, scientifically proven, unhackable. Now imagine people like my mom or all of us, global citizens, travelers, expats, needing the information, their own health information. So with the idea of EHR and the secure power of blockchain, combine them together, we could make such a dream come true today. And that is exactly why I am here, to invite you all to come and join me. Let's make this dream come true. Let's start saving lives together by giving the ownership of our own health records to everyone who deserves it. Thank you. <laughs>